to part three. Part three of the of the video. Welcome and enjoy this part here. Uh, this is the last part and uh, there's other videos coming soon. If you've missed part one and two, click back there and you'll get to those videos. But this is part three of part three, a three-part series that is. Uh, I've really enjoyed making these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making these. Anyways, click like and subscribe, make comments, gotta go. I don't use Bitcoin. I don't understand Bitcoin. I, I have an idea of how it works. I don't know how to get it, don't care. Um, it is a form of electronic um, currency that you can use online. It is primarily used on the dark web to make transactions, um, but I have no desire to buy it. I have no desire to purchase it. I have no desire to make an investment in it. However, this was an email that came in um, for me. I, I actually struck out the information, my private information, including the address of where the, the stuff, you know, comes from. Um, but this is saying that I've got 13,549 thousand, um, or 500, 13,529 dollars and 25 cents in euros, or, or is that Bitcoin? I don't know. Don't care. In Bitcoin. Um, of course, I've only got so much time to to actually claim this, confirm this payment. If I don't claim it, then I guess I'm out of that money. Um, so, but what do we do? <laughs> What's that? Oh. So what do we do? Do we click that link or do we not? Because if we click that link, I guess that just means that we get paid, right? No, wrong. We don't get paid. We get scammed. So with that, you know, we just move on. Uh, best thing to do is just delete it. Amazon is, is, is a huge, huge one. They made this one look legitimate. The, um, they said that, um, that my IP address was... Um, that I made a purchase uh, in Africa in, back in 2019. Now, as you notice that this one was back from, this was uh, uh, an email back from 6-23-2019 and that I made a purchase on, uh, wait a minute. Oh, 26, June 28th, 2019 is when this email came out. But uh, eight days before, I made a purchase on uh, on eight days before uh, uh, located in Africa. Well, I got news for you. That was uh, a year and five months ago, and I'm still using Amazon. Um, and uh, here's the thing. When you, you hover over this link, like in the PayPal information, they said hover over the link. See, they make it look legit, but what they do is then they take the link and they hide it behind, and it's a tiny URL, a tiny URL, or a bit.ly, bit.ly, and then I, I obviously hid the rest of the address because I don't want people to go to it. Um, and I hid this one too here. It's basically the same type of bit.ly address, and they made it look really, really, really legitimate by having this Amazon logo. If you don't click this link, we're going to close your account. We're going to we're going to close your account. Oh, are we going to close your account? I'm still using I'm still purchasing things on Amazon. Um, yeah. OK, so click it or we'll close it. They didn't ever closed it, which is fine by me. So needless to say, this is another thing that you've got to be very careful with. Um, if you look up top. Um, Amazon accounts at Amazon.com. This looks very legit right here, you know, but it, you can spoof email addresses, you know, outbound email addresses very, very, very easily. Um, and that's, that's one thing. But when you try to click on this, if you hover over the link, always hover over a link and look at it. If in doubt, hover over it. 
Here's some of my junk mail. I love going into my junk mail. It, it, it just brings me great, great humor to be able to see just what kind of junk comes in. Let's look at some of the things that kind of pop into there into the mail mailbox here into the junk mailbox. Let's just start with the credit scores. So th find out what your experiencing it's experience TransUnion and Equifax scores are. Really? Do you think they're actually going to do that? They're not going to tell you what it is. You got to go to the websites and actually ask for them yourself. They're not going to go to the website. What's next? Oh, job fairs? Oh, yeah, well, number one, you've got to sign up for job fairs. You're not going to, they're not going to cleared, cleared professionals. What is a cleared professional? Is that, is that part of the Scientology world? Are they cleared? <clears throat> another, another thing are these flashy icons. Flashy icons are, are so tacky that, you know, that it just it just throws off the whole thing it just makes it look cheap it cheapens it now congratulations walmart we've been trying to reach you several times confirm asap well huh don't you think you would have called me on my phone or tracked me down as i walk into walmart when you see me at the register because i go in there quite a bit um yeah i've never registered for anything at walmart um so yeah no nah, i don't think so Next one is this tax settlement. Tax settlement. You know, people owe on taxes all the time. So what they do is they just throw things against the wall and see what sticks. Throw things against the wall and see what sticks. And so it's just this hodgepodge of different types of emails. And with that being said, if you know, if they send out these all different types, the job fairs, the credit scores, the flashy icons, the tax settlements. Even who Sarah is, I don't know who that is, through Snap or WhatsApp, um, eventually someone's going to go, oh, well, I know a Sarah and I do use WhatsApp. Maybe I better find out who that is. Um, eventually someone's going to click on that, uh, including Raging Bull Casino um, or this UPS. Please respond from UPS. I, oh, I didn't click on that one up top. Notice for, you know, for me, please respond to UPS. Should have clicked on that one. I didn't see that one as, as an example. So, you know, as we talked about the, um, the uh, adult type things, this is um, um, for single people. This is a, an email address that I just decided to throw in. I think this is the last, one of the last few slides that I've got. This is, um, this is for a dating site that was out there that they have. The, the thing about it is that when you if you hover over these links that they have the confirm and unsubscribe they both have the same links they subscribe you to both people so if you confirm you get subscribed to everybody if you unsubscribe you get subscribed to everybody so either way it's darned if you do and darned if you don't i think this also does the same thing i think this is a We'll start sending you our girls and website um, to make sure we. I should have ran this through a through a spell check. If you think there is a mistake, please report your request. Uh, yeah, there's a huge mistake. I don't need it. And and then the tongues with the ripped paper dating hub. Um, so these are things that you know that s uh, desperate people are you know looking for. Oh, maybe it'll help me. Yeah, I doubt it. It's it's fishing. It's just a way for people to be able to uh, just to be able to get information from people. You know, these boxes are, have the same URLs I said. So how can you avoid being a victim of a phishing attack? Let's talk about that. Know who is sending you those emails. Filter your emails and settings through keywords. The best way to do that is to Google what browser you're using um, and what email platform you're using on how to filter it, whether you're using Outlook, whether you're using e Yahoo, uh, Gmail. Heck, if you're using AOL email, there's a way to do it. And you can actually go in and you can filter out certain emails, certain words, um, filter out money, um, pills, Viagra, um, adult words 
filter out those words. I have filtered out so much garbage that my spam box fills up so quickly with with certain words that now I just get very legitimate words and once in a while a spam will slip through or a phishing email will slip through. Um, so another one is if in doubt, please, please, please call the company. Um, if you didn't sign up for, uh, uh, maybe if you didn't sign up for their e-newsletter, then, then call the company. Just say, hey, I don't remember signing up for this. Um, if you see an unsubscribe icon down below, hover over it down below. If it has a legitimate name to that company, unsubscribe from it. Or just put click, click spam, drop them in the spam box. It'll, it'll drop them in spam and you'll never see them again. Ask a coworker or friend if they sent you the email. If you get an email from a coworker or a friend or a family member um, or someone that you may know, an acquaintance, someone you network with, um, call them. Just say, hey, did you send me an email? Uh, I, I, I got an email, it just, just doesn't seem right. Ask your IT person if, if you work, if you're at work. Just say, I got an email, I need you to look at it. Please take a look at it for me. If in doubt, just throw it out. Um, I, I cannot express how many times I have told people that to just throw it out because it's, if, if they really need to get a hold of you, they will call you. They will call you and say, hey, I sent you an email about a week ago, did you get that? Oh yeah, I thought it was spam. I'm really sorry. Can you resend it to me? They will resend it to you. And then at that point in time, then you can open it and open the email legitimately. Okay. If you're being cautious, it's better to be cautious and throw it out than being reckless and just throwing it out. Don't click any of the links in those emails. The reason being is that you, there could be malicious viruses in it. It could show them that who are an active email user on that email address. It could, it could download key loggers on your computer. It could do so much on that computer that, that we don't know what it could do. Okay. If it's work related, report the email to your IT department. Okay. Um, tell them that there's different policies they have. They might have you send a copy of it. They may have you just throw it out. They just may have you send it in a zip file. It, it, it just depends on their policy. Do not give them personal information. Immediately change your password to the website in question if you're ever in doubt. Um, one other thing I did not add on here is um, is um, uh, I totally forgot what it was now. I'm sorry. I'll remember it in just a moment. Um, <clears throat> so there are seven steps I got from mentalfloss.com. Take a deep breath if you get spam. Don't panic. This this uh, you know this scare tactic is is something they they're good at doing. Change your passwords. Contact your organization that was spoofed or the organization that was spoofed. Scan your computer for viruses. Watch out for warning signs of identity theft. File a report with the FTC. Protect yourself against future phishing schemes. And then a bonus one that I threw in is perform a special credit audit. Use Credit Karma. Go to any of the three credit reporting firms and do a credit report if you feel like your credit was affected. I'd really like to thank you for your time watching this video. You know, please tell your friends about it. Um, please subscribe to the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment on this video on any content ideas or anything that you really liked about this video. And also, click on that bell for any future updates on any upcoming videos. But I really want to thank you for your time.